Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayers with me, James. And I recommend you find a place of quiet and comfort. Yeah, you can just let the Lord into your homes now. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and of one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do, forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant us pardon and forgiveness for all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and strength of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep, from evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Now this evening we're continuing in our journey through Psalms. Tonight I bring you Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let him praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty, he loves justice. You have established equity in Jacob. You have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Great are you, Lord. Thank you for the blessing to read your word tonight, Lord. I pray that this psalm may speak levels to every single one of us tonight, on a personal level, and I pray this psalm helps us grow in faith and love for you. I pray this in your name, Lord. Amen. Lord, your love and justice, you love justice, and I pray for justice in our world. Lord, our world is hurting. There are millions who are suffering because of selfish actions of a select few. I pray that as Christians we can rise up against injustice in our world and communities and strive towards love and equality as you call us to. I pray that we call upon the Lord like Samuel did and he will answer us in our struggles and in our times of greatness. Speak with the Lord. He is with us in all times and we have every opportunity to spend with him. I pray that we may acknowledge that amongst the distractions of our world <clears throat> and make sure that we're spending time calling upon the Lord. Lord, you have blessed each and every one of us. You're a forgiving God. Thank you that when we fail to do good, you never fail. Thank you that when we understand we've slipped up, we can turn back to you and be forgiven. Lord, you gave your son to die for us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing to read your word and experience your love in our homes tonight. I pray that tonight 
we may feel closer in our relationship with you. And I thank you that we can do so now. I also pray for those who are victims to injustices in our world today. And I pray for your mercy upon them. And that's Christians who may strive for justice and love in our world. I pray all this in your name, Lord. Amen. Lord, you've given bread for the coming day. And though we are poor, today we believe. Lord, you've always given strength for the coming day. And though we are weak, today we believe. Lord, you've always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today we believe. Lord, you've always kept me safe in our trials. And our tried as we are, today we believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today we believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of ours. And though the night is here, today we believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time is right. And though you be silent now, today we believe. Save us, O Lord, our waking, and guard us while sleeping, and to wake we may watch with Christ, and sleep, and rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, as the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch of Christ, and asleep, and rest in peace. Now let us pray for our daily bread, as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth and in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Lord, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray. And drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing always be upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night's watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Replacing our souls and our body in thy safe keeping this night, O God. In thy safe keeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. Amen. Good night. God bless.